We're back with our world lead, President Biden hosting French President Emmanuel Macron today for his first state visit since moving into the West Wing. The two say they discussed the Russian invasion of Ukraine at length and Monsieur Putin and how to further support the Ukrainians fighting back against Putin. As CNN's Phil Mattingly reports for us now, President Biden says he is willing to meet with Putin, but only under certain circumstances. On a day carefully calibrated to elevate a critical alliance. Mr. Putin is, let me choose my words very carefully. President Biden signaling a willingness to open a line of communication with Russian President Vladimir Putin. I'm prepared to speak with Mr. Putin if, in fact, there is an interest in him deciding he's looking for a way to end the war. With clear preconditions. He hasn't done that yet. If that's the case, in consultation with my French and my NATO friends, I'll be happy to sit down with Putin to see what he wants, has in mind. He hasn't done that yet. The brutal war in Ukraine now in its ninth month at the center of a three-hour sit-down with French President Emmanuel Macron. Well, it's great to have my good friend back here. After which, Macron was explicit in his commitment not to circumvent Ukraine in any peace talks. But we will never urge the Ukrainians to make a compromise which will not be acceptable for them. Biden's first state visit underscored the value and durability White House officials see in the relationship with America's longest-running ally with two leaders going to great lengths to demonstrate their unity and iron out clear-cut differences. And I make no apologies. Biden moving to clearly address French concerns with sweeping subsidies included in his cornerstone economic and climate legislation. But there are occasions when you write a massive piece of legislation, and that has almost $368 billion for the largest investment in climate change on all, of all of history. And so there's obviously going to be glitches in it. And providing assurances that issue would be addressed. I'm confident. <laughs> it's my answer. For Macron, a day and a dinner, underscoring a White House view of a relationship that has only grown in its importance in Biden's first two years. One driven, officials say, by a genuine personal connection. I, I began to refer to him privately as my closer. A connection that has become critical Deal. in a moment when geopolitical threats have rattled alliances worldwide. France is one of our strongest partners, and historically, but uh, one of our strongest partners and the most capable allies. And, uh, and uh, Manuel has also become a friend, in addition to being president of that great country. And Jake, that three-hour meeting behind closed doors, certainly at the center of the visit. But obviously the main event is the dinner in just a couple of hours. Several hundred guests are expected to arrive for the first state dinner for President Biden. There will be dancing, there will be dinner, a real co-mingling of French and American traditions and colors. John Baptiste, the Grammy-winning artist, is scheduled to perform, Jake. And, and Phil, uh, there's a controversy about one of the main dishes being served at the state dinner. Tell us about that. Yeah, main dish, that's actually a good way to frame it. It's lobsters. 200 live lobsters sent down from the state of Maine. You'd think it would thrill Maine politicians, uh, Maine fisheries and, and lobstermen. However, it is at the center of a regulatory uh, and, and legislative battle that's been ongoing for a long time from conservationists that would like uh, the lobstermen basically to stop getting the lobsters that they do. This is such a central component of Maine's economy right now. And there's some frustration that regulatory actions by the administration run counter to the idea of wanting to support or bring down those lobsters. As for the moment, White House officials not really weighing in on the matter, but Maine politicians making very clear if it's good enough for the White House, it should be good enough for any uh, grocery store or certainly uh, regulators, Jake. Yeah, so Congressman Jared Golden, the Democrat from Maine's very uh, competitive second district, weighing in against his fellow Democrat Joe Biden there. Phil Mattingly, thanks so much. Appreciate it.